Welcome friends, I am Tanmay. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and Mystery of Molecules. Today we are going to discuss about Hinzberg synthesis of thiophene. This is an important, it's a name reaction for heterocyclic compound synthesis like thiophene. So actually this is a continuation lecture of the Stube condensation and this is the third application of Stube condensation. First and second I have uh, already discussed in the previous video. So please go through that in because Stube condensation three carbon could be introduced. It's, it should be not three, it should be fourth application. Means uh, first is beta, gamma, unsaturated carboxylic acid. Another thing uh, introduction of three using means alpha, beta, gamma gamma carbonyl carboxylic acid and third one is the naphthalene derivative preparation this is the fourth one that is there is uh, thiophene preparation okay so let's start actually here the most interesting part is the reagent because here the first reagent use is one two dicarbonyl compound benzene now we are we will discuss about the aliphatic versus aromatic diketo what is the advantage why i have taken here the aromatic one not the aliphatic because see the base the reaction condition potassium tertiary butoxide is a very strong base and another thing if we take a methyl means the corresponding aliphatic one methyl dimethyl glyoxide so there is a chance of cross aldaldehyde condensation as due to the repulsion due to the repulsion and electron withdrawal effect of two carbon in this center is highly electron efficient highly reactive so in order to eliminate that aldol condensation as a uh, another part or you can say impurity you know we want to avoid that it is better to use the aromatic one okay okay fine and in case of another diester previously we have used always means we have used always used succinic acid means one four but here there is in between one sulfur okay so we will use this to pre uh, prepare the carbon so this is a very strong base structure equipment and this temperature this proton will be eliminated okay so in presence of base this proton will be abstracted to produce this carbon and this carbon ion is resonance stabilized using this carbonyl uh, group of this ester we have already uh, described in strobe condensation but along with that there is additional advantage because there is a sulfur and it is withdrawing so minus i effect it can stabilize the charge a little bit i agree but at, in addition to that this sulfur has energetically accessible vkmd or vital so that can stabilize the negative charge using the uh, using the conjugation means it is possible only in case of sulfur okay uh, this same phenomena we will observe when the acetal formation means using 1 to dithion and after that the ch means aldehyde h became acidic because of because the corresponding carbon is stabilized using such such conformation this conjugation is in a vacuum metal. so okay that's a different issue we will discuss in different video so this is the carbon ion generator and as we know the generated carbon ion here can attack this carbon and carbon another thing is a very electron division effect from because of the adjacent two carbon uh, car this carbon and carbon is two carbon group makes each other very much electron division so this attack happens so after this attack what happens after this attack this produces o minus means after attacking this opens up produces o minus and here the sulfur and this is alpha hydrogen Fine, perfect. Okay. So after that, this, this, you, you can see here that this O minus is position is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six member position one six position. It can attack this carbonyl uh, group, this and it push and this O it can go out. So it will produce a six member ring. And if we be, as the number one two three sulfur is four previously have four five carbonyl is six. So we have. Uh, if I always suggest, please do, please follow this numbering strategy for when a straight chain compound to a ring is formed. In this way, you can put the substituent in proper position. For example, this uh, carbon number two at carbon number two attached with phenyl, carbon number three carboxylic acid. In this way, there is a chance of mistake will be reduced. Okay, fine. This is numbering form. Another thing, in the medium there is one OET eliminated, and previously there is one. Uh, OTBU present means both are base. So among them to anyone can abstract the alpha hydrogen of this means another alpha hydrogen base left. So it would be abstracted. 
So what will happen if this is abstracted by the base? This lone pair will come here, and consequently these will leave because this carbonyl group will stabilize the negative charge on the oxygen through the conjugation. So after this, this ring will further open. So okay, this is produced this uh, O minus this. Now a thing, uh, a story is that the fact is that there is. There is alpha hydrogen, both alpha hydrogen here also. But one point to be remembered that this is not the alpha hydrogen of ester. This is right now the alpha hydrogen of carboxylate anion. So basicity is less. But tertiary butoxide is relatively stronger base. And another thing you can see the temperature. This temperature is high enough to provide the drastic conditions such that this would be eliminated. Third point, there is sulfur as I explained here. The sulfur can another put a in positive factor to make this thing relatively more acidic. So consequently, in the presence of that, this will be abstracted to prepare the carbonyl. Oh, okay, fine. Now there is one carbonyl, and this carbonyl also resonance stabilized with this. I know stability is relatively less compared to the parent ester one, neutral one, but there is some factor stability. Fine. So you can now let's just count the number one, two, three, four, five. So now carbonyl group is in five position. So we can think that okay, it can attack here. So if it attacks, it open. So five member ring will be formed. Form. So if as we have mentioned, this is one, two, three, four, five. And five member OH. So every substituent is there. Three position CO two it is CO two it is so not miss chance of missing. After that, this O minus is formed. Another thing, this is O minus is alkoxide. This is basic, and medium is also basic. So it can abstract. It can abstract proton from the medium. Big from where? Because butanol is given as solvent that can supply. So what may happen? This O minus could be OH. Fine. Okay. Another thing. Here is another hydrogen pending that could be abstracted, and if that is abstracted by base. So this is abstracted. This comes here. This you may think that okay, alkaline condition, which acting as a leaving group, it is not that much good. I believe, but during this drastic condition, it is possible. Second point, you have seen the aldol condensation under basic condition, which ultimately results in alpha beta unsaturated uh, carbonyl compound. You may consider that type of thing because of elimination. Okay, this carboxyl is a carbonyl group, so here this could be uh, abstracted, and similarly this could be eliminated. And if it eliminated, another thing, driving force for this reaction is if this elimination happen, then there will be a chance of aromaticity gaining. What do I mean? This one. So aromaticity is at say first of this elimination and a double bond formation is driven by the factor means driving force is aromaticity because sorry not this one I made a mistake. So in this way uh, after this this will produce so this will produce the double bond with this. This is the this is the having the aromatic stabilization. Now you can see. This one is carboxylate anion. Right now, this K plus means one. This is actually a half ester type. One is ester, another is half ester, like Stobe condensation. Now we have given there is a given KOH under refluxing condition. What it will do? This KOH will hydrolyze this ester to make the corresponding carboxylic carboxylic uh, carboxylate anion. It's better to say carboxylate anion. Fine. Now, after the next step is H3O plus means acid. So, what will happen? This will produce carboxylic acid. So, the overall reaction is ultimately produces this dicarboxylic acid, diphenyl substitute thiophenyl. Now, the question: If we need this material directly, okay, fine, we have acid. But if we don't need, we need thiophenyl only. There is a strategy that in presence of copper, if it is heated under 300 degrees centigrade, then this decarboxylation will occur, and ultimately our target thiophenyl is produced. But remember, this thiophenyl is attached to this two phenyl. Means this is one, two, three, four, three, four diphenyl substituted thiophenyl. So in this Hinzberg synthesis of thiophenyl, we can ultimately have this. Three, uh, three, four diphenyl substitute, diaryl substituted. It is better to say not phenyl. We can have different aryl substituted thiophenyl. So what we have learned today, what we have learned in Stobe condensation, we have learned previously compared to that, this sulfur bridge means sulfur attached. This uh, 
if we would say it is better to say one five di ester can undergo Stobe condensation with a one two aromatic one two dicarbonyl compound and ultimately produces this thiophene dicarbox diaryl dicarboxylate thiophene and which under subsequent heating under proper condition may provide the three four diaryl substituted thiophene and the reaction uh, mechanism we have learned and this is known as Hinzberg uh, synthesis of thiophene. So. I guess you have understood this video. If you like my teaching, please give a like and share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited. And finally, subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. And before leaving, I always suggest to you learn to enjoy the chemistry. If you try to memorize, it will be a big burden because see lots of factor phenomena, these, 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 there you will be confused. It is better to enjoy and when you enjoy a particular thing and that thing if you are doing will never feel bored. So it is essential to enjoy the chemistry and I believe if you enjoy and try hard you will definitely be successful. My good wishes with you. See you in my next video.